Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here back this Thursday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome tonight isn't that great isn't that mighty that god himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither thy dwelling welcome tonight let's give him a big hand god bless you which we beloved and friends sincerely from my heart i release a blessing upon your life and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name my friends beloved tonight i cover everyone under the precious blood of jesus i build a hedge around your life for the blood of jesus is so efficacious and the blood of jesus is so powerful the blood of jesus Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus, whom the Son set free is free indeed. Yes, my friends, you are free to tonight in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name let's give my big hand tonight hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus also he said in his words healing is the children bread and the first covenant he make with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I'm healed you are healed, we are healed in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Praise God. Tonight, dear Father, I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every virus, every germs, every sickness, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. Tonight, as I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus. Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen thank you Jesus praise God from the rising of the Sun unto the going down of the same yes my friends on the rising of the Sun to the going down of the same yes my friends they, they, I tell you today I am I am convinced today that you are a chosen people yes my friends you are a chosen people tonight praise God men but you are chosen you are chosen people tonight beloved and friends you are chosen by the Almighty God praise the Lord I am I am tonight praise God I'm filled filled with a sense of awe tonight beloved and friends and I wonder tonight praise God I'm filled with a sense of wonder awe and wonder tonight that praise the Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah blessed be the name of Jesus that you are special tonight you are special in the eyes of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name yes a chosen people a royal priesthood tonight a holy nation 
praise the Lord of people belong to God Almighty yes my friends and beloved that you may declare tonight the praises of him who call you out of darkness into the marvelous light hallelujah is not awesome tonight somebody needs to tell us from time to time that we are we are we we fall into a certain hallelujah praise God a custom yes we like Ellen White calls it from going like a door it hinges and we forget that we are indeed indeed tonight the people of God hallelujah praise God we are not any little ordinary bunch behind the Lord's back tonight somewhere I'm trying to give you and give you a shoe yeah false pride but in but uh, but you ought to to spring from the spring in your steps when I think I'm a child of God I'm a part of the family of God tonight hallelujah you are a part of the family of God tonight pride is a tremendous problem with Christian Christians today but another problem that just a great day is underestimated not a for what we are for what god has made us to be my friends and god made us god made man and woman tonight yes my friends i'm impressed with the earth i'm impressed with the heavens tonight praise god but there is nothing made so uniquely as man how are you here with tonight beloved and friends himself when god made man from the dust of the ground in the garden and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life there is not one word anywhere in scripture that said god told anybody he was going to do it when he made the man he made him in his own image and at that moment beloved when god made that man and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life satan becomes man mortal enemy satan saw so in man what was not in angels did you get that nor troubling turbans or seraphims nor in any other creatures of the earth satan saw the man who was different he was made in the image of god there's not a man on this earth that knows the glory the glory that surrounds adam when god made him in his pivotal state when god breathed into adam's nostril the breath of life something covered adam it was the glory of almighty god that covered adam he was not naked when god made adam beloved and friends he was different when we are today when Adam sinned against God he lost that glory he lost that covering yes and this is why the two fig leaves together and covered themselves in because they saw their nakedness that had never been seen before and now so men men may be in the image of God Satan is jealous of this creature and sets about in any way he possibly can to tear him apart tear him down the great this way that Satan can tear you down a human being is to change that image that you are made in the image of God into his image beloved and friends digest this tonight digest this tonight beloved and friends hallelujah you were made in the image of God he has a person but against you and so tonight the Almighty will give Satan room to do so much my friends remember tonight Almighty God is Almighty God did you get that tonight he is almighty air god every person that walks the face of this earth my friends and beloved yes was in some respect in some respect given given to display to display something of god's creative genius yes my friends again i want to tell you it's not that god has a look i look at has to do with your nationality or you are anything that has to do with with physical recognition but my friends there is something of uh, of himself uh, something of himself tonight uh, I'm impressed tonight uh, with or I'm impressed with the heavens uh, hallelujah but there is uh, nothing made so uniquely my friends uh, as man himself uh, did you get that my friends so tonight uh, he didn't think of eating it uh, and try to figure out he just made man already he ought to already plant it out plant out before 
the foundation of the earth. Uh, he will just reveal it and said, uh, let it be so. And look, a man, man with the ability to love, uh, to be loved, man with the compassion that taught with man with excellence and drive, uh, be able to reach the moon at a single bond, uh, man who controls and moves and motivates one another and build great cities uh, and go make man. Yes, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give him a big hand. God made man. God made man. Hallelujah. Is that so, my friends? And bless you if you're born again because you are in the image of God. The Bible says Christ is form if you were if you were born again believer the holy ghost the holy spirit forms christ in you in other words he makes you a little like christ not christ but the son of god my friends and beloved hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah we need to understand that tonight praise god a little yes that sense because through you my friends tonight through you the world can be born again you are not uh, that your body is uh, the temple of God you know not that your body is a temple of God if any man destroy the temple of God he will this God will destroy beloved and friends tonight uh, you think about that uh, yes you have been given tonight uh, how you have been blessed you have been blessed tonight uh, that uh, what we are in the sight of God my friends when God look at a man he is not looking at an angel he is not looking at a cherubim or seraphim he is looking at the man did you get that tonight when i say man i said in the generic scene sense of mankind male and female tonight as david the psalmist recognizes beloved and friends he says what does david says i am fearfully and wonderfully made yes my friends and if i realize that then I realized that uh, having having tonight being created, uh, being created, there is a reason and a purpose for God. Yes, my friends, uh, creating me tonight, isn't that so? There is a design, beloved and friends, uh, intelligence behind the in design and when when god created beloved and friends me he had a reason he had a reason for doing so and the bible tells me the reason tonight praise the lord hallelujah praise god thank you jesus god created me that i might know him know him tonight in knowing him hallelujah comes to love him yes and in in loving him tonight come into a fellowship fellowship with him tonight beloved and friends God wants you to have fellowship with him and that by living in fellowship with God tonight my life and your life can be fulfilled and complete rich and blessed I can enjoy loving loving the love of my family yes the love of my children the love of my grandchildren I don't have any as yet yes my friends praise God hallelujah the love of God and hallelujah and that that there is a reason there is a reason and a purpose for my existence in this world I'm not here by accident I'm not here by hap hap haphazardness i'm not here because god create i'm here because god created me, me for his purpose and there is a reason <coughs> and a purpose to live beloved and friends if i'm here by by random tonight selection over over billions of years ago my friends then then there is no real purpose no real purpose for my existence hallelujah praise god and tonight if i'm just an accident then nothing matters doesn't it tonight my friends and beloved doesn't matter if if i made anything in my life or if i just trash my life i can do what i want me after all everybody makes their own rules beloved and friends tonight we need to understand that hallelujah praise god what the word of god says you are special you are special tonight 
God don't make any two of you alike. You are special. You are unique tonight, beloved and friends. God created you and God loves you and God has a plan and a purpose for your life and there is a meaning tonight. Hallelujah. There is a meaning tonight. Praise God. Let's give him a big hand. Now, hallelujah. The amazing thing about this human conscious tonight is this, beloved and friends, but even if you don't believe tonight, I'm saying it tonight, you believe, you believe what I'm saying tonight, hallelujah, praise God, but even if you reject the truth tonight of what I'm saying, my friends, there is rooted inside you, yes, a conviction, a conviction which you can, which you can suppress with your, with the years that which is there, nothing less, which is telling you that these things are so tonight hallelujah praise god and this truth is the truth which the scripture will not let us forget tonight beloved and friends we need to understand that god didn't make any two of you alike you are special and unique did you get that special and unique god created you and god loves you and god has a plan and a purpose for your life and there is a meaning for for, for the, your existence tonight yes my friends and you discover it you will discover it my friends hallelujah and when you come into a meaningful relationship with god almighty praise the lord thank you jesus and god has